Hello, this is Brian from Grunblau Design Studio, and this is a soap dish that I designed. I wanted to try to mill it on the CNC machine because I'd had this uh, rapid prototype a while ago, but I wasn't at all satisfied with the transitions from the top to the bottom. The design of this really relies on the fact that it's completely smooth from the bottom to the top. The entire soap dish is about a sixteenth of an inch thick, and it maintains that thickness throughout the entire soap dish. So it goes down to the bottom to have feet and then to the top in order to put a bar of soap or a sponge on the top. Uh, another thing that I wanted to try while I milled this out was sort of a lazy fixturing idea that I had. Instead of milling out a separate fixture, I wanted to just sort of incorporate that into the geometry that I would use to cut out this uh, soap dish. So this piece just happens to be bilaterally symmetrical. That's not important really for the flipping. It just means a little bit less thinking as far as which way to flip it when it's actually cut out because any which way should work. Uh, so this is the flip geometry. The green line represents the line that I'm going to have a quarter inch end mill pass along and the white line represents the stock that would be removed along that which is a quarter inch offset basically. So since the uh, end mills should be exactly a quarter inch thick. This should be able to be flipped and then continue on milling on the other side. So if I grab this and this and rotate it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now you can see that with this piece that we cut out and is now separate, put back in the hole, it should lock itself in and allow you to continue milling. So I'm going to undo that. A couple other things that will need to be done is, uh, you know, at a couple additional surfaces. These infills just keep the bit from plunging all the way to the other side because I'm going to go ahead and mill all of that from the other side. And this just extends the uh, surface a little bit so that I know that I have a smooth transition. So let's begin with the toolpaths. We need to remove everything that doesn't look like the soap dish, so we'll start with horizontal roughing on side A, followed by parallel finishing on side A with a clean up pass around the openings, and then the 2D flip geometry so that I can flip the piece over and continue milling on the other side. Then horizontal roughing on side B, followed by parallel finishing with a clean up pass around the openings and then finally the 2D profile with tabs. 